Hey everyone, in the next few weeks I'm going to make a series of videos going through the questions from the 2017 Mathematics Admissions Test, or MAT for short. This is an exam you have to sit if you apply to either Oxford or Imperial College London. It is sat in November of each year, usually at the start of year 13, so you'll typically be 17 or 18 years old, and is a two and a half hour paper. Question one is made up of 10 four mark multiple choice questions, each giving you five possible answers to choose from. You'll typically want to spend about an hour on question one, which works out at six minutes per question. Then you'll have to answer four longer questions, which are typically a lot harder. So try and give yourself as much time on this section. If you look at the Oxford website, it gives you lots of statistics on how previous students did in the MAT. Keep in mind, each paper is out of 100 marks. If we look at the 2017 paper, the average was 51.3, which is actually over half of the marks. And if you want to be shortlisted for interview, you want to be aiming for at least 60%. Okay, that's enough talking, let's get into the maths. So let's have a look at question 1a. We are given the polynomial f of x equals 2x cubed minus kx squared plus 2x minus k. And we are asked, for what values of the real number k does the graph y equal f of x have two distinct real stationary points? And we are given our five possible answers. Now what is this question really asking us? As soon as we see the phrase stationary points, we want to immediately be thinking about differentiating and setting the derivative equal to zero. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now our function is f of x equals 2x cubed minus kx squared plus 2x minus k. And we want to differentiate this. The derivative will be f dashed of x equals 6x squared minus 2kx plus 2. And as we said before, we want to set this equal to zero. The stationary points will be precisely the roots of this equation. Let's revisit the question. It requires that both of the stationary points are both distinct and real. By distinct, we mean different. So how do we ensure this? Our derivative function is a quadratic equation. Let's consider a general quadratic equation. ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Hopefully you're familiar with how to solve this. We use the quadratic formula. This is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. What we're interested in here is the part under the square root. This is called the discriminant. Discriminant. This determines what type of solution we get. If it's positive, we get two distinct real solutions. If it's equal to zero, we get a repeated real solution, i.e. a single solution. And if it's negative, we get complex roots. So the condition we require is that we need the discriminant to be positive. So if we look at our derivative equation, its discriminant is going to be b squared minus 4ac equals minus 2k squared minus 4 times 6 times 2. This simplifies as 4k squared minus 48. And as we said before, we want this to be greater than 0. Simplifying, we get 4k squared is greater than 48. And dividing by 4, we get k squared is greater than 12. And we're almost there. Firstly, note that the square root of 12 is equal to square root of 4 times square root of 3. And square root of 4 is just 2, so this is equal to 2 root 3. This means that this inequality here is equivalent to saying k is greater than 2 root 3, or k is less than minus 2 root 3. And this is our answer. And if we look back at the possible answers, we can see that the correct answer is B. So there you have it, the solution to question 1A.